Okay, so this is Lake Harden. It's Lake Harden, sorry. Um, this is Lake Harden. Um, it's my neighborhood lake. Now, you're probably wondering, how in the world is there a park? Well, it's over there. Sadly, this park is actually pretty old, but you know, it, it's still functional, sort of. It'll do. Um, well, I'm gonna have two boys over there. Well, they're not here yet, but they're coming. Um, they're gonna be with me. So, there's a swing set, teeter-totter, slide, something, and actually, let me zoom in a little bit. So, I don't know what that is. There's a, there's a slide, teeter-totter, and swing set. Perfect for what we need to do, and if we need anything, there is a bench over there we can use. We can also use a platform over there, because we have a boat. Um, and a little thingy over there. That's not a rush, I'm not sure what that is. Alright, um, so I'll get started as soon as the boys get here. I'll stop it for now. This one. I did it! Yay! Okay. So first I'm going to demonstrate some call kinetic energy. I'm not doing potential energy because that's kind of weird. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here and once I push off, I'm going to slide off the slide. Kind of a death statement, but you know. Slowly but surely. As you can see, the kinetic energy I use to slide down the slide is from the potential energy that I had when I started. So as I climb up the slide, you can tell I'm already building up potential energy. I don't know, like a 16 joules. Okay. So as I start, my potential energy is stored. And once I lift off, right about here is when I have the most kinetic energy. Well, right now I don't have any because I stopped. But as I slide down the slide, and then I at the bottom, I get zero joules of kinetic energy. Anyways, so we're going to demonstrate the teeter totter. The reason why we're not using this is because it's broken. Uh, but as you can see, in the middle is something called an equilibrium force. For, and force. Excuse me. Uh, and as he goes up and I go down, you can kind of see how the equilibrium comes into play. Um, we're going up, spin down. And if he goes too hard, I can fall to the bottom. And like that! Anyways, as you can see, centripetal force happens when I swing with more energy. I go around and dump it down, and I'm so glad I'm not wearing a dress. She's going to break it. Up and down, <laughs> like this. Uh, as I use more energy, I go in a circular motion because of centripetal force. Uh, okay, 